Hey guys, how's it going? This is George from Declue.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB Windows 11 installer drive. So, let's have a look. The official release of Windows 11 was back in October the 5th in 2021, so we're only one and a half months after the release and there are still many, many people who cannot wait for Windows 11 update to be available on their computer. So that's why we have this video right here. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to create a bootable USB with Windows 11. So you can go ahead and take this USB and install Windows 11 on any machine that you can find. And the good news are, is that Microsoft hasn't made the requirements mandatory, which means that you can even install Windows 11 on an older computer that doesn't meet the requirements. With the only downfall, that a very old machine won't receive any security updates. So it comes with a cost, but if you're a big fan of experimenting, then that could be the moment for you. Speaking of the requirements, all you need is a single USB stick with at least 16 gigabytes of storage in it. And if you don't have a USB stick lying around your house, you can still buy a 32 or 64 or even more gigabytes of storage of a USB stick with a very low price. And down in the description, I have some USB sticks, which I highly recommend you to have a look at. And this method also works if you have an external storage device. In my case, I have the Crucial SSD, and this is a very good uh, option if you don't have a USB stick. But because this method involves deleting your, all of your data in your external hard drive, whether it's a hard drive or USB stick, then you'll need to go ahead and move all the files that you have on your external hard drive to somewhere else in order to do this process. Now that being said, let's go straight to my screen and show you exactly how to do this. All right guys, so the number one thing that we have to do is to go ahead and download the Windows 11 ISO file. And it's 100% free to do, just like the same thing as you would with Windows 10. So the way to do this is to go on the official Microsoft website, and the link is down in the video description. You're gonna be taken to this page right here. So you have download Windows 11, and you have all these options right here. But before we go and download Windows 11, I want to quickly show you how to check whether the computer which you're about to install Windows 11 can support Windows 11. So the way to do this, uh, you need to go to this page here. So you need to click on this link. Just gonna right click to a new page. And it's, you're gonna be taken to this page right here. So it's gonna take you right to the download section. So click on where it says download PC health app. It's gonna download. And uh, because I already have installed it, so there's no need for me to you know, open it from here, but, but you can just open it, double click on it, install it. And once you do that, you should be able to find this application by searching right here. So we're gonna type PC health check. And from here, you'll see here where it says introducing Windows 11. So from here, click on check now. It's gonna do a quick check and tell you exactly whether your PC meets 11, Windows 11 requirements or not. And as you can see, but luck for me, it doesn't meet the requirements on my computer. So I have to enable TPM 2.0 in order to do that. And the process that I'm currently using is not supported for Windows 11. And the process I'm using right now is the AMD Ryzen 3, so it looks like Windows 11 doesn't support AMD, only supports Intel-based machines. Uh, so I'm gonna click on see all results so, you can, so we can see everything. And here's gonna show the statistics that I have. PC supports secure boot, uh, at least four gigabytes of RAM, processor has at least two cores, and the speed is greater than one gigahertz. So this is the quick check, and uh, if it doesn't currently meet the, the system requirements, then maybe that target machine that you're about to install Windows 11 may not be able to run Windows 11 or may not be able to run Windows 11 properly. Like you may be able to install it, but it may not work properly on that machine. So please keep this in mind. And uh, also according to Microsoft, that if you install Windows 11 on a machine which is not being supported by Windows 11, it won't receive any security updates. So just keep this in mind. So I'm just gonna quit this for now. I'm gonna quit this page. So assuming that your target computer supports Windows 11, we're gonna scroll all the way down. And here where it says download Windows 11, just gonna select download, and then select Windows 11. Press on download. It's gonna open 
a new page, select the product language. I'm just going to choose English International. Press to confirm. And then this is the only option to download 64 bit download. Press on that, and Windows 11 will begin to download. Keep this in mind, it's about 5.2 gigabytes of size, so it may take some time depending on your interconnection. So, and I'm gonna cancel it right now because I have already downloaded it. So once it's downloaded for you, then we're ready to move on to the next step. So the next step is to talk about how we're gonna create the bootable Windows 11 USB flash drive. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's extremely simple, not, not many steps. And I'm going to show you step by step on how to do this. So the number one thing you have to do is to take your USB stick and plug it in to your computer. So I'm going to do this right now. And there we go. I almost fell off my chair because I couldn't reach my computer to plug it in my USB stick. And yeah, as you guessed, I'm using a tower instead of laptop. So anyways, we're going to go here and click on file explorer, or you can go here and then type this PC, just like that. It should be on the first on the list. And then here you'll see the USB stick that we have just plugged in. So it's George's PC and then the letter is D uh, colon. So it's very important to remember the, this letter here, D. This is the way to recognize the external device which is gonna be using uh, for later. So the next thing we have to do is to uh, format your USB stick so if uh, there's an error showing like location is not found or something like that once you plug in your usb stick then make sure to do a quick format of your usb stick so your computer will be able to understand it it's likely that your usb stick will be shown here so make sure to right click on it and then click on format and then here leave all the options just like that and then press on start and then you'll format your usb stick please keep this in mind that if you need to format your usb stick then all of the data will be deleted and so please take your USB out and then plug it into the last computer that your USB worked and then move all of your files out of your USB stick and put them to your old computer. So once you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and download an external software which we're gonna be using to create the flash drive. And this software is called Rufus and it's a third party app, but it's one of the most reliable utility software to create bootable USB drives. And it's extremely to use and I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step step which settings to use. So we're gonna scroll all the way down to the download section. And here, uh, I'm gonna go with Rufus 3.17 Portable. So Rufus Portable, uh, you may show some ads and just click on anywhere to skip the ad. And uh, as you can see, it has downloaded right now. So all you need to do is just press on it and it's gonna launch. But because I have already installed it, then I'm gonna go here and type Rufus. And there we go, press on yes, and then the app should open. So it's gonna minimize this so we can have uh, more space to work with. And here, as you can see, the external device has been selected as George's PC, and then you have the letter D. And here, boot selection, this is where we have to use the Windows 11 ISO file. So we're gonna go back to File Explorer, and we're gonna go to Downloads, and here, we should see Win 11, English International, whatever. And this is gonna be the ISO file of Windows 11. So, so what I'm gonna do is to drag and drop Windows 11 right here and boom, that's it. So drag and drop it, just gonna minimize this. And you, can, you have boot selection, Windows 11, ISO file, uh, image option, that's fine. Just gonna choose that. But this really depends if you have TM, TPM 2.0 plus secure boot. Uh, if you don't have secure boot on the target machine, then just press on this. And as you saw, my computer doesn't have TPM, no secure boot, so I could, so I should select this. But I'm gonna go with this one because I assume that I'm gonna install it on a new computer which supports TPM 2.0. Uh, partition scheme, uh, leave it as GPT and the target system UFI non-CSM. But if you're going to install Windows 11 on older machine, then you may need to choose MBR. And as you can see, the target, the target system has changed automatically. But in my case, I'm just gonna leave it as GPT, but make sure to change it to MBR if you need to. And here on format options, so volume level, this is gonna be what uh, your Windows 11 installer drive will be named. 
and this is how you're gonna call it when you create it uh, but I don't want this to be the title of it because I'm getting headaches every single time I read it so I'm gonna, gonna change it to Windows 11 installer just like that that's perfect uh, file system NTFS that's fine cluster size that's fine and now we're ready to begin to create the USB flash drive so press and start and let it happen it's gonna take some time all right so the USB stick is ready and uh, that's basically it so let's go ahead and check it out just gonna quit the Rufus because we no longer need it I'm gonna go to this PC again and this is how it looks like so Windows 11 installer and let's click on it and you're gonna see all the stuff that you have here so what you need to do right now is to take your USB stick and uh, go ahead and install Windows 11 on any computer that you can find and before you remove your USB be sure to go ahead and inject it and there we go everything is done and that was everything I wanted to show you for today guys I hope you enjoyed this video in a future video we're gonna go ahead and install Windows 11 on one of my computers in order for you to see how the process looks like and in case you haven't installed Windows 11 yet and you would like to see what it's like installing it this is gonna be one of my next videos so be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell button right next to it in order to receive a notification for when this video is gonna be uploaded of course hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to share this video to your friends in case they're looking for a way to install Windows 11 earlier than receive an automatic update. And of course, the most important thing, if you have any questions, don't forget to let me know down in the comment section and I'll try to answer to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm going to see you in my next video.